guys, as you can see, I am back with another video and I am super duper duper excited to talk about the Black Panther movie that just came out. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If this is not, welcome back. <laughs> as always guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and turn on your post notifications so that way you can see the next time we have a post. And like, comment, let me know how you feel. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Just come on now, interact with me. Other than that, we're gonna go straight into it. Well, you already know I had to go do a little one too. But <laughs> well, you got Wakanda. Like Wakanda forever. I'm in the tribe. I, I'm in it. Ain't nobody can tell me that I'm not. I'm in it, and I am blessed to be invited into Wakanda. Oh, I just it was just such a it was just such a beautiful film, like from start to finish first of all the cast is amazing like some of the hottest actors and actresses in hollywood right now which is amazing because they're all most of them were black i only remember seeing one white person in this movie i really didn't care not that that even matters it's just to see us to to feel us to know that we are super talented and blessed to be on a screen doing a movie a marvel movie at that But yeah, it was not thinking about it. it. Was a few white people in it because it was a fight scene and it was some Asians and stuff like that. It don't matter. Oh, just to know. Ah, it's so thrilling. It is. It is so beautiful to see us on on film, like on a big screen, doing our damn thing. Let's just get into the movie. The first scene. I would have been super super upset because his dad had died. And once his dad died, he became king. Soon as he become king, he didn't even become king yet. He want to fight. And I'm just like, M'Baku. M'Baku want to come fight him. And I'm just like, who are you? What? Why you just couldn't get along with the five other tribes? Well, it was five tribes and four. Got a, a lot of stuff. You got to go see the movie. I don't want to give you too much because I want you to go see it. However, I want to dish out what, how I would, what I would have did. How I would have felt because... With me being king and all, like, I ain't got time to be fighting nobody. That's what I got soldiers for, like, mm -mm. Anyways, T'Challa had to fight M'Baku without even being, what, 24 hours as king? Just not even 10 minutes. And he was like, you know what? I want to challenge you. I don't even know why they was asking, ooh, do we have any challenges? But ain't nobody got time to be asking stuff. Just let him sit on the throne and be king. And that's that. Whatever, long story short, T'Challa beat M'Baku and Shabam. We start going into the movie, taking notes in the movie. I just found it funny that he didn't kill him. And that just showed that him being the king, he was a, a righteous king. He wasn't just a murderer. He was giving people second chances and, you know, to do things in life. Told him, he's like, hey, you're from Wakanda too, so... I don't want to technically have to kill you, but I want you to know that I won this battle and I'm going to let you go and I'm going to let you do what you got to do for your people because, you know, he had his own tribe. Gorilla looking people. I just wish that's how society worked nowadays. I wish that we could talk things out and not just go straight to killing people and shooting up schools and just churches and stuff like that. Like, where, where, where has just discussing things out vanished? Like... Granted, you know, there are some people who do these things and things happen, however, just my lips drying, y'all. Why can't we just talk it out? Or duke it out, go to the park, be like, hey, yo, let's fight, like how they did, and that's that. Like, once the fight is done, that's that. Like, go your way, I go my way. I, obviously, I beat you up, so you're not gonna wanna come back anyway, anyway. So, let's just go our way. I just don't get it, why do we have to Result straight to guns. Should be the last result or in the movie, killing, stabbing, breaking necks or doing whatever you got to do. We shouldn't be resulting to just killing people. We need to keep our brothers, not kill our brothers. I see what y'all did, Marvel. I see what y'all did. Y'all not showing us as the angry black man who wanna kill everybody no more. I appreciate that. So fight it out before killing each other. Like, Pueblo. Again, I would've been pissed. I, I, just, I just became king and I already have a battle. But next, next thing. It was a line that I think either T'Challa or T'Challa dad said, and it was like, you get to, T'Challa said it. 
you get to decide what type of king you want to be and that's what I appreciate because everybody has the same opportunity in life to succeed I'm really taking this movie and making it relative to my life because I love the movie so bad already I want to go back and see it again but you decide to be who you want to be not anyone else don't let anyone else write that path for you because we're all different we all have different paths of life and you need to walk your own damn path don't let anyone do it for you. You be your own king. You be your own queen. Prince. Princess. You. Wakanda. In the movie, there is such beauty and poise and just the fabrics, the costume. Let's just give it up for costume designer. Oh, she did an amazing job. Like, just making them look royal and beautiful and just so eloquent and graceful like it, it was amazing the whole movie was bomb from beginning to end things that i noticed and I, I made a note of it family unity beauty technology dance culture togetherness i love it all black panther we need more of these movies we need we need more we need more, we need more, we need more. So we need more actors, we need more models, we need more hairstylists, we need more costume designers. Don't be afraid to follow your passion. Get out there and do what you have to do because we need you. We need you. Yeah, you, we need you. Hello. Shuri, first of all, the women roles in this movie, I get it. I get it. Black women have the highest purchases and power and it was shown in this movie. Women rule this movie. The, the, the women of the Wakanda tribe are beautiful, stunning, bald heads, look amazing, strong features, poised, very, very... Boy, if I go to the club, I'm taking some Wakanda women. $10? Girls, get him. Woo! Oh! I just bought this. They were strong, they were poised, they were beautiful. They were warriors, they will fight for what they have to and that's what black women are, we will fight. They will fight for their children, their family, their jobs, their hair, their nails, don't mess with us, we are strong in every sense. This movie just, child. I'm upset, I'm disgusted at how beautiful this movie was. Disgusted. I can't, and then Shuri, let's just talk about Shuri. So, okay, so, Shuri is T'Challa's little sister who, in most movies, when you think of someone who's the techie, savvy person, it's a male. Not in this film, which is what I love. She controls all the technical advances in the community as far as building the train system, everything, the guns, uh, armor, she controls it. She's the one who's out there making those technical advances so that way, Wakanda can protect themselves from everyone else. They call vibranium and she knows how to control it. She uses it and it's just amazing. Shuri it was, was so innovative. She designed the car that she didn't even have to like, she just got into some like virtual car and was driving and it was just insane. Like what, who does that? Shuri, Shuri does. From Black Panther, I just wanna let y'all know whoever get a chance that this gets to somebody. I need y'all to know that this was a bomb ass movie. Hands down, you got it girl. The general, the general was strong. Angela Bassett, strong. Every woman in this movie was strong and a warrior and a fighter. Besides that one lady who got choked, I felt bad for her. He did not have to choke her like that. He like lift her up and threw her down and I, oh. mm -hmm. That wasn't good. That was not good at Marvel. She was just so innovative. That's, that's what I loved about that. I loved her, I loved how innovative she was, I loved how creative she was, I loved that she was just like, hey, you know what, I got this, like, don't worry about it. I'll build you a new suit, I'll get you a car, I'll solve this issue, I'll save you with this plane. She knew everything. I was a little nervous. Oh, when she came out with her hands, she was She was on that, she created her own weapon. Then she created the rings for um, the Kia. Um, I want to be a character. I really want to be in the Black Panther. The next one, I'll be in it. Watch. Story unveils as Michael B. Jordan character comes in 
outside of the other evil guy with the hand with the vibranium in it. So his character comes in and he's a, a damaged son, like most of us. It's my life, you know. Anyways, he was a damaged son who was trying to get revenge for them killing his dad. But he thought it was the Black Panther who killed his dad, T'Challa, when it wasn't, it was T'Challa's uncle. It was just a lot. That was, um, guy with the eye, Forrest Whitaker. It was a lot going on. His character name was Ziri. His sister name was Ziri, so don't get him mixed up. Ziri, 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 Ziri. Um, his character name was Ziri, and it was a major plot twist. Did not see it coming. And it was crazy. Ziri was actually responsible for Eric Killmonger's father, T'Chaka, to be killed. Don't slay me if I say the names wrong. I'm really trying my best. Once he found out that he, his father had died by obviously a spy telling on him, he was just like, oh, they left him. He saw the plane leave away, they left him, and then it was just like, oh my God, they don't left me here. But he still had inside their mouths Inside their lips, that's how you can get into um, Wakanda because they have like a secret thing, and which is super cool. Eric Killmonger, he was just upset. He was livid. He was mad. He just wanted to kill people. So long story short, he go and challenges the king. Oh, there was a mission. I, I can't give y'all everything. I just really want to know you. Y'all got to go see it because this is so much that I'm forgetting that I just can't really get out. It's just like the scene here, then it was like they tried to, they caught him and the, they had a fight. And when they was fighting and then like a little casino thing, they got the, the CIA agent. And then from the CIA agent, they went over to this, then they had a battle, then they caught Claw. Then once they caught Claw, they let him get away because they came in. Eric Mollinger came and got him out. And then they went and tried to get him again. He done killed Claw. Claw done died. Then they went and he brought the body to him. His friend done traded, he a traitor, he done switched sides. Now they gonna kill the boy, the boy won the battle, um, the boy won the battle. T'Challa, he ended up beating T'Challa, which obviously I know that had to happen because the movie couldn't have ended right there. Think that T'Challa is dead, and then they go, he, he got the throne now. He like, oh, first of all, he showed up like, what's up, I'm on that, I want your throne. End up tossing him over the throne. Switching the, sh the story now. Now, Eric is, Michael B. Jordan is king now. And he wanna just do some destructive stuff. He wanna put vibranium in the hands of other people who just, it just ain't gonna work. I don't know why he thought that was gonna work, but it was not gonna work. Long story short, that was a chop. They weren't going for it. At first, the general was like, okay, I have to serve my king, whoever he is. Blah, 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 blah. Nakia was like, ooh, no, not happening, sis. It's a chop, I'm not finna do it. So once she said she not finna do it, they went over, they went to M'Baku, M'Baku was finna help him. M'Baku actually had his body. M'Baku had T'Challa's body, and they went and gave him a flower, and he woke up. T'Challa wasn't dead, which I knew. So he woke up, and then they started a battle and in the battle, that's when like it was just, things just got crazy. It got real crazy real fast. Everybody wanna fight everybody. The boy from Get Out, Wakabi, who pissed me off because he's a traitor. Um, he gonna go blow this horn. And these three big crazy things just come out of nowhere and they just start storming people, then his people start fighting them people, then the tribe fighting these people, then it was just sad. And then one of the pretty ladies died. She was so pretty. And then she, all she said, he had her, he had her like this. And she was like, what kind of forever? He was like, Ugh. and she was like. Ugh. Was that dramatic? <laughs> I did it for dramatic effect. Hopefully it worked. So he done killed her. And at first I'm just like, okay now, hold, hold up. No black people were supposed to get murdered. Now if they get in the fight and they wounded, that's cool, but don't be killing each other. Y'all fight, slap, beat each other up, give, them, give some wounds and some scratches and stuff. But don't kill each other, that just ain't gonna work out. Plus we all from Wakanda, I don't get it. 
Anyways, so they start fighting. T'Challa and um, Eric, they start, Michael B. Jordan, start fighting on like this train thing and it has vibranium and they turn it off. So when they turn it off, their powers don't work. So that was cool because, you know, they was fighting one to one, man to man. I really feel like this is a bad review because I really don't want to tell y'all, but I want to give y'all some juicy clues to go see it, but it's just like, you need to say it. So let's get to the end. They done fought and everything. Well, Kavi was actually about to fight his own girlfriend, wife, whatever. I don't know what they was, but they was booze. They was base, and they was about to fight. And he, you know, he had got on the knee and was like, okay, whatever, cool. I'm going to drop it or whatever. Sis was like, you really finna fight me? You really done pulled up and pulled out and... This nigga really finna fight me? I'm in a the movie theater like, bitch, they gonna fight. Get it, it was just such a beautiful movie. Okay, I'm just so caught up. Okay, T'Challa and Eric Bollinger are fighting, and then he just stabbed him. He stabbed him, and I just was a little blown because I didn't think that's how he was gonna die. I thought he was gonna get thrown off a mountain or ran over. I thought he was gonna get ran over by the little bullet train that was coming by, but clearly that did not happen. I, I just, but T'Challa has some, um, but Eric, Eric has some adult line. Let me, let me let you know what he said when he got stabbed, which is really true. And as bad as I wanted to hate him this movie, with his stupid self, because he threw the king off for no reason and he tried to create corruption, he said, let me tap into my brain. He said, Bury me in the ocean with the rest of my ancestors who jumped ship because they knew that death was better than bondage. I was like, what? <laughs> Don't be dropping no keys and no gems before you die. What you think this is? And, and T'Challa gave you another chance. He asked you, he was like, we can save you. We could give you the plant, we could make you eat it and you could live. And he was like, nah. He was just so stubborn. Ooh, I like it. But it was just like, chill out. We trying to save you. Hmm. Long story short, the movie was great. Hands down, the best movie of the year and the year just started in Black History Month. So what's up? What's good? What's popping? I wouldn't even know oh, any other movie shouldn't even come out unless it's another Black Panther. Which yeah, I think he in the Avengers or something, but I, I don't care about all that. This movie was everything. This movie brought so many people, beautiful people of color out. I love seeing the costumes. I love seeing the Instagram posts. I love seeing the hair and the face. You see what I did? I had to channel a little bit. And it, it just it just was beautiful. I would love to see more of this, not just in Black History Month. Not just once a year, not just, okay, this is something that they want, so we're gonna give it to them. No, this is something that we fought for and we deserve. So don't act like we don't we don't need it. And don't act like you don't need it, because clearly we ain't even gonna go there with what they do to our stuff. Hmm. Americans. I should have talked in the Wakanda accent this whole movie. I made a video. That was bad. I'm gonna stop. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in to my trash action. It's my movie reaction. Yeah, I just came up with that like two weeks ago. I hope you guys liked it so much. Please, please, please go see the Black Panther movie. Go ahead and leave a comment on when you see it. Let me know if you felt how I felt. If you wanna beat him up. If you wanna slap somebody. If you want Nakia to go ahead and marry. T'Challa, just let me know. That's what I think should happen. And I can't wait till a second movie come out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, until next time, I'm out.